Welcome, in this video I will show you how to easily play PC games on your Unburnic RG556 console using either Steam Link or Moonlight applications. And let me start with the easier option, which is the Steam Link. Uh, basically all you have to do is uh, open the, the Steam Launcher on your PC nearby and uh, then open the then then log into your Steam account on your computer then open the Play Store on your Unbarnic and search for the Steam Link. And once you find this application, tap install and wait until it's installed. Of course, using this app, you will only be able to play Steam games. Once the application is installed, tap open, then allow it to uh, find in, uh, nearby devices and tap get started. Let it scan for available computers and then you'll, you'll, you're supposed to see your computer on the list. Just tap on it and you will see the code. Now you have to, uh, you're going to have to enter this code on your devices, uh, on your PC's uh, uh, authorization, in your PC's authorization window. Then click confirm and uh, then just le uh, let this device uh, test your network connection with your PC. Once the network test is complete, you will get a notification about uh, the results. In my case, uh, I have slightly uh, low internet connection, uh, internet connect uh, network uh, connection speed. But anyway, uh, it only means that uh, I probably would have prob uh, would have a hard time trying to play online games. Uh, so tap OK, and now to start playing, just tap here, and your uh, Steam will open in uh, in, in big uh, big screen uh, or or whatever whatever this mode is called in Steam uh, a big big, big picture uh, mode uh, and uh, then you'll be able to start playing any game from your Steam account uh, right from on your unburning device and so that's basically it for uh, for Steam Link now let's go to the Moonlight application. For the Moonlight application, I would like to start uh, with your computer because we're gonna need to download some software on it, uh, which is called Sunshine uh, Streaming. Google it, and you'll find this GitHub page, uh, Lizard Byte slash Sunshine. Uh, open it, and uh, here find the releases page or the releases tab, and tap on the latest release, and now swipe, scroll down. Uh, you'll find many different assets. What we need to, to find in here is the relevant uh, installation file. Uh, in my case, since I'm using Windows, this is the one I'm looking for. So let me just click on it. Uh, then uh, let me download it by, by tapping on the installation file. Now, uh, your device will probably uh, open this uh, notification window. Now, uh, just uh, it, it's it's not a big problem. Uh, it's it's not a virus. Don't worry. Uh, just tap uh, more options than run anyway. And click next to continue. Then uh, read uh, the license agreement and agree to it to continue. Then you can choose the destination folder for your application. You can change it by clicking browse and selecting a different uh, directory. Uh, but I'm gonna go with the default one. Uh, then you can you can also create some shortcuts in, in the start menu. I'm not gonna do this now uh, because I'm not gonna need it for long. Uh, let's click next. Uh, let's remove launching on startup. So adjust the uh, checkboxes to yourself. Click install and wait until the start sunshine is installed. And once it's installed, you will see this uh, web page open uh, opening up. And once the Sunshine has been installed, click Finish. And once you install the Sunshine, uh, you will see this uh, page. You have to see this page. But uh, sometimes it happens so uh, that uh, it just doesn't appear on uh, itself. So instead, you have to provide this uh, web address into your search field or path field to access the uh, the main Sunshine page. and uh, 
once you do that, you're going to have to create a username for yourself. Uh, so, for example, and then provide a password for your user. And then confirm it in the following field. And tap login. And once your page re uh, reloads, uh, provides your username and your password in the following fields. Okay, now we can go to configuration and configure your uh, Sunshine program. And now let's go back to the Android device. So on your Unburnic uh, device, open the uh, Play Store once again and search for the Moonlight application. Tap install. And tap open. And your computer should automatically appear on the, on the available devices list. If it didn't, you can tap on plus icon and provide the IP address of your host PC that you can find under the network tab in your uh, Sunshine application. Uh, now to connect to your device. Uh, to connect to your device, just tap on it uh, on this list. But you can also go to settings and change uh, some basic settings like video resolution. You can choose uh, up to 4K resolution, but be aware that uh, the streaming quality uh, d d uh, relies on your network connection speed. Uh, you can also adjust the video frame rate, bit rate, uh, you can stretch the video to full screen if you, if you want if you want the better immersion actually let me select it and you can also swipe a little bit down and enable on screen controls for example in case if you don't want to use the external ones now let's select the computer let's uh, now enter this pin now on your PC, go to the PIN tab and provide your PIN into this field. And also the device name. Uh, the device name is just your username basically. And uh, then we can switch back to the... Uh, to, our, to, our, to our Unburnic. In my case, I'm gonna uh, once again, open Steam application. Once again, it opens in the big picture mode, which I think is the most convenient one for gaming from, from this kind of application. And unfortunately, unfortunately I uh, have some troubles, uh, but oh, I, see, I think it... No. Uh, yeah, I have some some uh, internet network connection troubles. Uh, let me open the this game once again, and let's try to play it once again. And let's uh, let's check the connection quality. In general speaking, it works uh, also works well, except for I actually have to only use my uh, only use my, my external controllers, which unfortunately aren't supported in this particular game. Uh, so yeah, uh, I have to have to do everything from from my PC still. So yeah, I, I could have just open uh, I could just enable the on-screen controllers, and I think this this would fix this issue. But generally speaking, it uh, works. And so that's uh, just how it works. I uh, hope that this video and that you found this video helpful. And if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like and a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.